right, so we got a uh, rooftop unit here that uh, the complaint was it was hot downstairs, smelling hot anyhow, yet it was cold too. And I got here and I opened it up and the motor, uh, because the motor sounded like it was humming, like it wasn't running, they said they just replaced this thing, which uh, we're going to look and see here, it's 230 to 240, so check voltage, I would say it's probably 460. So I bet we got a motor that's gone out on us here and that's why they were smelling stuff. Plus the uh, belt's loose big time. So, oh, it feels like the bearings went out. Holy crap, we got trains everywhere just blowing their horns. Yeah, the bearings went out it looks like. Holy cow, I don't wanna. No, it's not one to move on the motor. Look at that. She's not wanting to move. <clears throat> I think seized up something fierce. That's kind of crazy. Huh. A little odd. Let's see if we can get this thing broke loose here just to maybe get it running for them. Yeah. There we go. Ooh. The bearings are gone. Holy cow, I think I'm gonna take this belt off. <laughs> yeah, that thing's shot. Got to come back for that. The regular blower bearing seems fine. I don't have no play on it. Seems to spin fairly good. We're gonna need to change that motor though. That motor's had better days. Bearings down here. Feel good on it too. This is a Johnson unit. Didn't know they made a unit. Johnson controls. Didn't know they made a unit. Reminds me of a York or something like that. Okay, so let's check the ignition system over here and see if there's any other issues with that because I hate to just order a motor and then uh, have there be other issues. Okay, so you have to take all that cover stuff off to even get into this thing. Power is off. These things don't look like they've been much done to them. Yeah, this thing is a York. It's gotta be a York. It's got that stupid pilot assembly that they like. Where, uh, yeah, standing intermittent pilot comes down to there. They spark on that. That lights the little row across and then the flame sensor senses it over there. Then it brings on the main burners. I do not like this system at all. So we'll uh, turn it back on just to see if uh, Wow, that thing's got, got some issues. I'm afraid to let it run because it might end up cutting into the windings and go poof. So I'm going to uh, kill the power to that thing first and then uh, we'll let it see if it'll start up the pilot. All right, so got the power off. I need to tear it apart yet because this is 460 volt. I unhooked it and I got zapped. So you should always check that before you touch it because it don't feel very good. And I was, I was on a rubber roof. I don't I don't like that. That kind of sucks. So somebody did a hodgepodge of a wiring job. Is all I'm gonna guess. So we're gonna check this thing. I don't know if the breaker screwed up or what. Okay. Last time I checked, three phase doesn't get wired like that. I don't know what they've done, but something's not right here. Something's definitely not right. Somebody's been doing some hodgepodge -ness. This uh, motor's three-phase also, so I'm not going to have it on the truck. I'm going to have the maintenance guy kill the power from down below. I've not worked on one of these units before, so I'm not familiar with at least with it, which sucks. Do they have a disconnect box somewhere else around here? 
does not appear to be. I wonder if they cut corners and got their contract cheaper so they could, like, not put disconnect box on it. Unless that's not the way it is. I'm going to call the maintenance guy and kill power to it. Alright, so I'm looking at this fancy inspected electrical job. I, I, I'm not an electrician by trade, but I'm surprised you're allowed to do that. That just, to me, looks like that's not the right way to do it. So if you follow the wires up, there's two of the wires going to the breaker. The other one looks like it is... What do we got there? Yeah, we got a yellow one, an orange one. There should be a brown one going somewhere. I think that brown one comes up. It comes in here. Yeah, that's what I would do. i just run the brown one wherever I want to. I bet you they lost a leg on this breaker. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Look at that hunky dunky stuff. Ran that wire right through that hole right there. This is, you know, you figure 270 some volts per leg. And then they came straight down here to the bottom. So they must have, yeah, that's the problem. They have one leg out on their breaker. And then to save money, instead of replacing it, they uh, freaking bypass that thing. So, yeah, that's that's not safe. That's a bunch of crap right there. That is a bunch of crap. That is not safe. That's ridiculous. My stupid butt for not checking it, guys. Definitely my 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 fault. So, found this up here on the roof. I don't know what the heck that is. Uh, surprised they're allowed to have stuff like that here. We'll uh, we'll bring him along to keep us company. Hope we can get it done. All right, he's gonna sit there and watch while you guys watch. I guess everybody's watching, so we'll uh, we're gonna try to replace that missing piece there. The the uh, maintenance guy had some different ones. This one right here is aluminum, just like that one. So it looks like it came out of a breaker. I'm gonna try that. If that's the case, that'd be great. I'd rather keep a breaker and uh, all nice and in place than dink around trying to put the box external of this mess. So yeah, it's not working out so well. It's just a little bit bigger, but that's how you need to get in there with one of these. That makes it a lot easier. It's dissimilar metal. I am going to try this one right here and see how that does just for curiosity's sake because I think it's about the same depth real dang close to the same depth I'll try that real quick look at my apprentice over here he's sitting there laying down again just just take a break buddy you're in pain in the butt so anyhow not the ideal situation but you know what it actually holds it and I can pull on it and it's not coming out so at least somebody ain't gonna get their crap shocked like I just did this hodgepodgeness going on over here I'm not even sure what in the world they did not sure I want to even find out I'm not I've, I've never been here before I know they got a step down transformer I believe over there for some other stuff yeah it's 230 volt draft motor nice why would you make the thing 460 if you ain't gonna make it all 460? Interesting. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and have him turn this back on. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and unhook this here while we got it dead though. All right, so we got this taped off for now. We're gonna set that down here just long enough to test this thing out and then I'm gonna have the power back off again. Okay, it's starting to rain, which is always wonderful. Let's go ahead and see what's going on with this. I haven't heard an ignition spark yet. Got problems. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six flashes. High temperature switch open. I wonder where that's located at. Well, now that we don't get zapped, look at that, it turns off. Ain't that nice? So let's see if we can find this open switch. All right, so there was a high temperature switch. You couldn't see it, but it's right back there in the back. So got that pushed. 
and it's blinking happy fast but is that going to make it come on looks like it's wanting to but gotta love it big old train just backing her up kind of noisy well, I'm not getting a call for heat or something. I ain't sure what that even goes to. Something about this is off for demo, demo or de demo, I can't know, whatever. Um, I bet when that thing tripped, it probably just ran the fan draft motor just because it was probably default, kind of like a, when a uh, limit on a furnace trips, the fan blow, the fan blower, whatever you want to call it, the fan runs. So. I've got some automation stuff in here, which occupied, common, there's our, so let's see if we can make this thing run. Good time for the cover. Stinking rain's getting all over the place. Let's go ahead and kill it. That way we don't accidentally short nothing. Go into there. Good W1. Supposedly the thermostat's calling, but... There we go. Good. Now the reason I'm doing this is because I didn't want to order parts, you know, and then wait a few days to get them. And then get up here and then find out it won't light up the, the flame so there goes the pilot see how it's kind of going across and the main burner should come on can't tell if they all lit I hope they did all right we don't want to run that for very long so we know it works so we're good on that we'll clean that flame sensor up when we come back but that uh, at least gets us to that point. So we uh, will be ready to go as soon as we come back with a blower motor. Kind of a simple one, but not the, the greatest thing. Moral of the story here, guys, um, and I need to start doing it more often myself. Uh, start checking to make sure the power's truly off, especially when you're getting into the 460 range. I mean, it was only 277, but still, um, I don't like it. It kind of sucks. So... That's what we got, guys. So I'll get that motor put on as soon as I get it. Not a whole lot to it, obviously. Four bolts and get her on there. If you like the video and you want to see more like it, you know what to do. Until next time, guys, we will catch you on the next one. Mm -hmm.